He met her at a party. He took her away. Did you ever see him? Only in the news. And they met that just one time? Yes. Was she used to leaving with strangers like that? Never. Why do you think she left with him? Maybe he drugged her. Yes, ma'am, but the coroner's report doesn't mention the presence of drugs in her body. Maybe it's something nobody knows anything about. Yes, could be. Can you think of any other reason she would have left with him? Love. She fell in love with him. She met him, she fell in love with him, and she left with him? You asked me what I thought. Private detective who's uh, down and out. He's an alcoholic, and he hasn't seen his son in a while. He's divorced, and is a young young child. And so his motivation is sort of get back on his feet, be a better dad. And he gets a, approached by the assistant for the mayor to prove that the mayor's son's innocent in the charge of a murder, and this young Latino was killed four months earlier. And so he takes the case because of the money. So $150,000 total, 50000 to start. And if he gets his son off, it's another hundred. So he interviews, he basically follows in the footsteps of what the police had done and enlists the aid of some former, he used to be a policeman, so he gets his former detective partner to help him with the case and the sort of snitches that he used on the street once before he goes back. and. I think people act out of love lots of times, even when you do bad things, and sometimes for the right reason. You just shouldn't have done that thing. You know? Like the mayor loves his son. So he's, you know, messes up a lot of other people's lives to get his son out of jail. And I expect results from the people who work for me, Mr. Court. The DA works for the county, the people, as it were. He'd like to see me broken. I admit, I admit that I've made a few enemies over the years, but these are important times. And I don't intend to lose because my sorry excuse for a son has gone and done a pissant thing that some hack DA can use to bring me down with. I like detective stories, and it's, it's not a suspense thriller, it's not a mystery, it's just a character study. So when you watch it, you're not sort of wondering who did it, we already know who did it. It's when will Frank realize he's, been, he's being played, and then what will the consequences of that be to him? How does that change him, if it does? And so that's really what it is. The script wasn't begun because I had this burning desire to tell this story. It was really more about, uh, that I've been teaching acting for, 28 years, and there's so many great actors, and they just don't work. He'll drag this case out for as long as he sees fit and drag me along with it. You get that rich boy off! Saca a chingar tu madre! Go! Only a fool would prosecute Jeffrey World at this point. They'd accuse me of trying to ruin the mayor's bid for re-election if I don't drop the case. It'd be easier if you just told me to go away. You need someone to care for you. I wish it could be me. You think you got this thing figured out? I'm your snitch. Some loser from the wrong side of the tracks, right? I'll get prints on this. Who knows, maybe it's a missing knife. Be funny if it ended up in you. Benito Gonzalez gives you your life. Can you give me mine? They were asking a lot of questions and um, I, I think I remember telling them it was a Camaro.
Frank, I know I ain't seen you in a while. I think you kind of forgot how we roll down here. Ain't nothing free on these streets, baby. Not even the air we breathe. The actors, I think, make the writing work. And I'm not saying that the writing was great. I'm saying the actors made the writing work. We, and we, we just made it as a showcase. They just, let's, here's what the actor, actors can do. Here's what I, I like to make a name for myself as a director, so I'll try. And uh, Greg would like to make a name for himself as an actor. And, and Greg and I, as a producing partnership, make more movies. And it's working out better than we thought. I mean, You grow up, you appreciate a person's, como se dice? You appreciate a person's scars. Let's just make it as honorable as we can make it. We want the, every actor to have something great to do. Every, every actor can be glad they were in the movie that they're really glad they're a part of it. And, and you know, I want to work on your next movie. That's what we wanted. If, if there's anything that we got from Guilty, it's make the movie. Otherwise, it's just talk. You know? and, and then what will you learn? You, know, you, don't, you, don't learn, you learn when you do it. You don't have to wait with the phone to ring. You know? Find it. There's so many people in Austin, writers, cameramen, editors. And you just get a team of people that you like, and you can make good stuff. And then spread the cost out so it doesn't break any one person to do it. It wasn't made as a commercial venture. If you could really, from the very beginning, have a business model, you knew the end market before you even started. Before you finished writing the script, you knew what your market was and drive everything towards that market. You'd at least minimize your downside risk, increasing production value and production elements that at least make your movie, in terms of quality, marketable with other pro projects of bigger budget. Like if we didn't get any festivals, uh, that, would, that would really hurt. Personally, it would hurt because I want to have another shot at it. But then also for all the actors that nobody would get to see. I mean, there's some really great performances. The experience of doing it was a pleasure. You can't take that away. But you wanted people to see it. You know, I, I want people to see it. So yeah, that would hurt. Uh, this is where I teach. It's my classroom. I mean, so I have that regular teaching gig, which I really like. And I love being around actors. That's why I like being on a set. I started teaching in 1984. And then Babs and I, Babs runs the school. We've been teaching together for uh, 15 years or more, maybe. And I think the reason that we work well together is that we both have a similar approach to actors. And since we both are actors, I think we understand what it means to learn something and how to take it in and how much time it takes to really grasp something. So the school, we have improv teacher. We have uh, a voice and diction teacher. MJ Vanderbeer, who was also in the movie. You can get a really well-rounded acting education at this place, in these two classrooms. 93% of the work in Texas is commercials. So the agents are making their money on commercials. And the actors are making, that's what they go to audition for. 93% of the auditions are for commercials. That's the money, they're the money jobs. There's lots of indie movies in Austin, right? the indie film capital of, of the U.S., supposedly. But that's not paying. And that's nobody being paid. The camera guy's not getting paid. The producer's not paying himself a salary. The director's not paying himself a salary. Nobody's getting paid. But they're making movies. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. That there should be some consideration, that word means, you know, yes, there should be something given to everybody. Should get something. Everybody should get a stake in that. Cuando el día se va, la noche vendrá.